and option b core loss will remain constant and im will increase option c core loss as well as im both will increase option d core loss as well as im both will decrease now come to the solution this is the equivalent this is the uh, circuit of uh, transformer where phi m phi is the uh, flux in the transformer which is constant constant this is because of transformer action to understand the behavior of the transformer action go to the question go to the solution num, solution of question number 9 okay now if we make the cut in the uh, transformer yoke transformer uh, core then this air gap is created due to this air gap reluctance in the uh, transformer is increased by increasing the reluctance by increasing the reluctance phi m phi m is constant so i m will increase magnetizing current is increased so phi is constant and i m will increase okay so uh, core flux will remain constant and i m will increase option b is correct now come to the question number 19 if the secondary winding of a ideal transformer shown in figure of c.42 has 40 turns the number of turn in the primary winding of a transformer transformer primary winding of power prime primary winding for maximum power transfer to 2 ohm resistor will be option a 20 40 80 160 hmm. no now come to the solution this is the circuit of a uh, of a ideal transformer where uh, two ohm resistance is transformed from secondary to primary then after referred uh, this is the resistance uh, referred to primary side for maximum power transform the input resistance should be equal to the load resistance load resistance so this 8 ohm should be equal to this resistance by this sol by the solving this equation we get n1 equals to 80 turn so c is the correct option now come to the question number 20 in single phase transformer the polarity of terminal a and b are at any instant are shown in the figure c.43 at same instant at same instant option a c is positive d is positive and flux is clockwise direction option b c is negative d is positive and flux is counter clockwise direction c is negative and d is positive and flux is clockwise direction and d option c is positive d is negative and flux is counter clockwise direction now come to the solution before going to understand this is uh, before going to solve this problem we have to understand the power consumed and power delivered concept in the single phase transformer when the current primary current is enter in positive sign then this is the power consumed operation okay if the secondary current any current is leaving to the positive sign then this is a power deliver so any one winding of the transformer should be power consumed then other other winding should be must be power deliver if other winding is power consumed other winding is power consumed then primary winding must be power, power delivered so this this is the this is the concept which which is used in this question now come to the solution in this equation in, here we seen that this sign is know about the uh, current entering from the uh, terminal a this is the positive sign we have seen here okay this is the positive sign now after current entering in this direction current is entering in this direction the and this is the positive terminal a this is the positive terminal a so this is the power consumed so next winding should be power delivered okay for the power deliver 
uh, we have seen the uh, winding connection and so the current is going in the in this direction current is going in this direction okay okay so this this must this must be power deliver this must be power deliver okay so for power deliver uh, i2 current leaving from the positive side positive side so for the power deliver this is the negative sign and this is the positive sign there is the positive sign for the power deliver deliver concept so this is the c is negative and d is positive now b option c is negative d is positive and c option c is negative and d is positive okay so now flux is counter clockwise direction and clockwise direction now this can be shown this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal so flux is flowing in this direction flux is flowing in this direction this is the clockwise direction okay so the option c is correct if you have any query then meet me in comment box and if you like this video then like it share it and comment on it okay for more video don't forget to subscribe my channel that is the reference tech education okay next video is coming for the next video on polyphase induction motor which is coming in a few minute okay thanks a lot for listening jai hind jai bharat